Hello there YouTube. Today I will be showing you the very first uh, tutorial on Java programming development. Um, today all we will be doing is installing the Java uh, IDE which we are going to be developing in and that IDE is named Eclipse. Uh, now an IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment which pretty much means uh, it's a simple way to store all your code, all your classes, all your files, uh, etc. Um, and this tutorial I will teach you how to install it and pretty much download it all in all. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our browser and I prefer Google Chrome over the other ones so that's what we're going to be using here. Um, now, all you're going to do is you're going to open, uh, well, you're probably going to automatically open a new tab, um, and you're just going to Google uh, Eclipse Download. And once this pops up, you will see a little box at the top, uh, and it'll say, um, as the first result, Eclipse Downloads. And you can click on that, and you will be re uh, redirected onto the eclipse.org website. Uh, now, here, we will view the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers, which is 246 megabytes. So when we click on this, we automatically get redirected to the page, which kind of gives a little description, and if you'd like, you can read a more detailed features list. Uh, although, we're not going to be doing that now, we will just be looking at the download links. So. Uh, the great thing about Eclipse is it is compatible with Linux, Mac OS, and Windows operating system. Um, so here for what I would be doing is, uh, oh sorry about this, um, I'm just going to close that. Um, anyway, so what here we're going to be doing here is we're going to be selecting uh, Windows 64-bit. Um, if you are on a Mac, you may select either Mac OS 32 or 64 bit, and same goes for Linux. Um, the difference between 64 bit and 32 bit uh, really is just a difference with your computer, all in all. Um, for example, most laptops um, run on a 32 bit uh, operating system, uh, while uh, most desktops use 64 bit. So for me, I would use 64 bit, but that can pretty much go interchangeably. Uh, so, all you're going to do is uh, click on your download link, and it will redirect you to here. And you can either choose um, BitTorrent, or a mirror, or just the main download, and that's what we're going to be doing today. So, let's just click on the download, and it should start the download right down here. Now, um, I will be canceling this, because I already have Eclipse installed, however, what you will do while it is downloaded, when it is downloaded, uh, you will go to your downloads folder and you will extract that um, zip file. Uh, you can use WinRAR or 7-Zip, many different programs to uh, pull off that task. Um, and so once that is extracted, you will run the install files and an installation prompt will come up and you will go through all your installation process, and I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that. Uh, it'll probably install it in program files or something like that. Um, and once it is installed, you will have a little Eclipse application. Oh, sorry, my color scheme just got adjusted. Um, so once that is installed, you will have an Eclipse program. And what you're gonna do is you're going to run it. And when you run it, um, Eclipse will load, and yours might not necessarily say Eclipse Juno, Juno, oh my god, Juno, um, and that is completely okay. Um, that's uh, pretty normal, and it just depends which version you downloaded of Eclipse. Um, and right here it's going to load the workbench, and all the files are going to be loaded into Eclipse, and it'll start up easily. Um, for first timers, you will be prompted with um, uh, a place to uh, store your directory. And your directory can be um, really anything uh, 
whatever the location you would like. It can be your desktop, it could be documents, it really, that's uh, up to you. Um, but when you load Eclipse, um, you will not have this. Um, you will have something like this, and you will not have any project. These are all of my personal projects. Um, but if you have gotten this far, that is wonderful, and it means you have installed Eclipse correctly, and we will work on the actual introduction to programming in the next video. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe, comment, whatever you guys want to do. I don't know. See you later.